Well, new tonight, the infamous black sludge in the Niagara River is now an international problem. Good evening, everyone. I'm Scott Levin. And I'm Mary Alice Demler. Elected officials in Canada told us tonight that they are furious with the smelly, dirty water coming from the wastewater treatment plant on the New York side. Now, this raw sewage has spewed into the river near Niagara Falls several times over the past few months. Two on your side, Danny Spiewak spent the evening in Ontario and he joins us now. So Danny, what are these Canadian lawmakers asking? Well, Mary Alice and Scott, they really just want this problem fixed somehow because they say the sewage is ruining their waterways and jeopardizing the treasure that is Niagara Falls. So they're putting the pressure on their American counterparts in government to find a solution. If it happens once, that's one thing. On July 29th, the lower Niagara River turned black with sewage. But the Niagara Falls Water Board said that was due to human error at the wastewater treatment plant. Since then, though, this sewage continues to spill into the river after heavy rainfalls, and it flows straight to Canada. Well, it's unacceptable. Wayne Gates is a member of provincial parliament in Ontario, basically the Canadian version of a state lawmaker. He's asking Ontario's environment minister to investigate whether the sewage is damaging Canada's side of the river. We have to protect the environment. We have to protect our water source, and this has to stop. Gates aired his complaints in front of the Niagara Falls, Ontario City Council on Tuesday. But he's not the only one who's living. So is City Councilor Mike Strange. We just want to get this resolved on both sides. It's not good for, for either country. Few communities in the world have a tourism engine like this. And some on the Canadian side are saying they don't want anything, including that black sludge, to drive visitors away. You see the seven wonders of the world. The last thing you want to do is be on the Maid of the Mist or Hornblower and be surrounded by raw sewage that smells so bad uh, that it's making you sick on the boat. The Water Board says it desperately needs money to update infrastructure. In a statement, a spokesperson told us the agency understands and appreciates all those parties, both American and Canadian, who are attempting to shine a light on this issue. But the feeling may not be mutual. Are you satisfied with the way the Niagara Falls Water Board has handled this on the New York side? No, absolutely not. Have you been satisfied with the way the Niagara Falls Water Board in New York has handled the situation? Um, not really. The state DEC hasn't been satisfied either. A spokesperson told us it'll continue to aggressively hold the water board accountable. So that's what this is about. This is about to continue to put pressure on the Ontario government, to put pressure on the American government to fix this problem once and for all. The DEC spokesperson was very pointed in his comments. He even said in an email that there is ongoing mismanagement, in their opinion, at the Niagara Falls Water Board. But the Water Board has said there are extensive efforts underway to find short-term and long-term solutions. And again, they say they need money from state and federal governments to update that infrastructure. Danny Spiewak, Channel 2 News.